So not long ago, I had to replace the engine in the Mustang that you see behind me. And now that it's got a good amount of miles on the new engine, I thought it'd be a great time to go ahead and put something an additive in the fuel to help protect everything that I just spent a whole lot of money on and to protect my investment with this new setup. So, you know, me being a young guy, not knowing all too much, I've asked around uh, to get some advice on what to use in uh, this vehicle here. So I got a lot of different answers, but I also got a lot of the same answers. And one of the most common products someone recommended to me was this product right here. So good old Seafoam. This product has been around a long time, longer than you and three times as long as me. And I thought this was going to be a great product to use to help protect my new engine. So on the back of the can here, you can go ahead and see, it says Seafoam Motor Treatment is a blend of cleaning and lubricating petroleum ingredients that can be used safely in all types of two and four stroke gas and diesel engines. So it'll definitely work in my application. And the directions say, use two or more ounces per gallon so i was like hmm i spent all this money on a new engine i really want the most protection so if it says two or more i'm like well i guess it couldn't hurt just to put a whole gallon in the gas tank so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and see what happens when you go ahead and put one full gallon of sea foam in the gas of this 2020 Mustang with a new engine. We'll go ahead and do before and after tests to see if there's any difference. And we'll see if there's a reason why Seafoam has been around for as long as it has. Let's get into it. So I'm about to go ahead and pour the Seafoam in the gas tank, but I gotta go ahead and do something. So uh, the unfortunate part is with these newer Fords and the capless gas filler uh, that they have, you know, they have, they give you these little puny funnels um, and they're, they expect you to you know make this work but unfortunately this this small little white funnel just does not get the job done it barely fills the hole and it just ends up making a mess and there's just a lot of disappointment when using this funnel so you have to kind of back it up with something like this i got this really big long black funnel here that does a much better job at filling in the hole and making sure that you get all the liquid where it belongs. So you kind of have to just double up like that. And then uh, that's how it gets the job done. You know, that little white one only goes so far with the big black one. It's so much easier to get things where it's gotta go. Well, here we go. I just wanna show you that this has not been tampered with. Pop the cap off here and you can see that the you know little protector seal is still there. I have to pull it off. So I'm gonna do that real quick on camera. All right, there we go. And now it's open. And now it's on my car. So here we are. It's gonna go straight on in. One gallon sea foam in the gas. This might take a minute. Just want to make sure I show, uh, you know, I just want to make sure I show this whole thing pouring straight in. So you can believe me. More than halfway through the can now. And there it is, a whole gallon of sea foam. So for my before and after test, I'm gonna pull the number one spark plug out and we'll go ahead and compare it after the full gallon of treatment. So let's go ahead and get this out of here. All 
All right. This doesn't look too bad. Uh, you know, a little bit of carbon on it. That's, that's typical. So I think we have a great start here. So we'll go ahead and throw this back in. All right, all nice and tight. Well, it's all in the tank. So uh, I guess we can go ahead and uh, give it a start here. So see what it sounds like. Ready to set sail. And before I drive, I want to go ahead and say that the gas gauge is about half. So this is a super concentrated blend of uh, the fuel left in the vehicle and the gallon of sea foam. So I guess we're going to see what happens. Some people said that, you know, it helps restore power. I mean, the car has been feeling a little sluggish lately. I've been trying uh, to keep up with some other cars and, uh, you know, it just has been falling behind, so I'm hoping maybe this will help, you know, just clean it out a little bit and give it the extra pep it needs to, the, you know, keep up with those other cars. I mean, so far it just seems to be running perfectly fine and normal. It isn't running uh, any different than it normally does. Now we see here, I mean, it runs pretty good. I guess. Wow. That almost felt a little bit quicker than it's been running. Huh. Wonder if it is adding some power back. So I've been driving around for uh, at least 30 minutes now. I've been driving in the car pretty hard. That's what they said. You kind of have to just run it hard for the first tank. And uh, I've been driving pretty hard. So, um, you know, it still feels about the same. Uh, I just noticed it's getting a little bit hotter out. Car's getting a little bit hot, I guess. But it's still running great. It seems to be making a little funny noises now, um, but it still feels good. I don't know what the funny noises are. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I feel like this could take out a Mustang GT now, no problem. And then he said, why would I waste my money on a four cylinder? Cause you don't need to waste your money on a V. Simple as that. I'm gonna get into it again. That. It just like got really loud all of a sudden. And a warning came up on the dash. Rattling noise going on. I can hear it like over there. I don't think it's anything wrong with the car. Like I said, it's a brand new engine. So it shouldn't have any problems regarding that. I guess I'm gonna get the car back home. Um, and we'll go ahead and check the spark plugs. See how they look. Let's see, you know, what the whole gallon of seafoam has done. So I'm almost home and the car's definitely running a lot worse. It, it keeps throwing these error codes. Um, I don't even know what it's doing anymore. It just keeps doing this. And it's just, it's running really weird now. Oh my God, I don't know what it's doing. I can barely touch the gas. And it's just doing this bucking. Oh my God, what the heck is going on? If I'm really light with it, it's fine. I don't know. Okay, I, I just got home. So I guess we'll um, pop that same spark plug out and we'll see how it looks. Um, and I'm gonna have to call someone and ask what's going on with this car. I, I really don't even know. It's just really running really rough. Um, all right. 
the hood. Let's go take a look. All right. All right. Uh, um, why does it look like that? Uh, it's bent. There's actually some metal shavings in there. Um, should I be concerned? Uh, that doesn't look good. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. It, I guess maybe this is why it was running funky. I guess I just need new spark plugs. I don't know. It, I thought it was okay, but then towards the last couple minutes of running, it just wasn't right. Well, it, it can't be the seafoam, right? Seafoam wouldn't do this. I just spent $8,000 having this engine replaced by a Ford dealership. I can't have any problems with this one. They, they told me this is what I should be using. Um, I asked around a lot. Oh boy. So I just got off the phone with uh, the techs at the dealership and they were like, why would you do that? And I told them, um, you know, I was just trying to protect the new engine they put in. And they said that was not a good idea. Um, they said I, I possibly damaged the, the new engine. So I don't even understand how they, these Fords must be that weak, I guess. I don't know. It, there's no way. There's no way it should have happened. So my conclusion is, yeah, seafoam sucks and Ford suck. To save yourself trouble, don't buy a Ford, don't use seafoam, and I guess you won't have any problems. So I guess that answers the question on what happens when you put a whole gallon of seafoam in the gas. Don't do it.